Hey guys, I want to go over how we're authenticating our GraphQL subscriptions because right now it's not working totally how we want it to. And the reason for that is how Apollo Client works. Now, I first want to show you how we're currently doing subscriptions, um, at least the authentication part, and then why there's a problem with that. So right now what we're doing is in our, we're creating a WebSocket link, and then we're using this option called Connection Params where we're passing in a token and a refresh token. And here you can see I'm just console logging um, so I can see when this function is called and what tokens I'm passing in. So every time we connect, we're gonna grab our tokens and we're gonna pass it uh, to our server, which seems fine and well and good, right? But there's actually a problem with that. So right now I am logged in as this user. So I'm gonna come over here to uh, log in. Now, I'm going to remove my tokens here, so I'm just going to go to application and then remove token, another one. So this is what a uh, user that's never come to the site would look like. So if I reset the page, um, you'll notice connection params prints out token and our token, and they're both null, which makes sense. But why did we just connect? Um, the reason why we did is because how how Apollo Client works is it tries to connect as soon as you load the page. Um, so it's passing in null tokens and it doesn't reconnect after you log in. So if I'm logging in with Bob at Bob.com and I paste this in, we get a not authenticated. And the reason for that is connection params is never printed out again. Um, so it thinks we're, we don't have any tokens because we didn't update that basically. So we get not authenticated. So when I say, hey guys, um, nothing shows up because we're not authenticated. But if I refresh, it reconnects and it passes the tokens because we do have tokens in, so we're all good. So now I can chat away and we're good to go. So how do we fix this? Um, and I was looking at the Apollo subscriptions options because I really wanted to fix this problem and I saw a variable called lazy. And I thought that looks like exactly what we want and how it works is if you pass lazy as a parameter, it connects only when we subscribe um, to more. So right now we're only subscribing on this page. So it was kind of weird when we were on the login page over here and the connection, we tried to connect. So we can pass as an option lazy and set to true. So now hopefully when I log in, it'll wait to evaluate my tokens after I log in. Um, so you'll notice you don't see null printed out here or my tokens, or you'd see tokens right now because I have them, but if I remove them, refresh, we don't make a connection. So that's good, that's what we want. We wanna wait till we log in. Okay. So I log in, I get token from the login. Uh, this is, I'm just printing when we log in what the token values are to compare those. But uh, connection params, and we see our token get passed in. And then I'm going to try chatting. And sure enough, I can chat perfect. So that works for that use case. Awesome. But there's one small problem with that guy, too. So connection params has been called. Um, it was you know waited to be called. But if I were to go back and I log in with a different user, so bob2 at bob.com. It doesn't get reevaluated. See how connection params never gets called again? And that's a problem. Even though we're logged in as Bob2, the subscriptions think we're Bob1. And so that's going to mess things up. So lazy by itself is not going to fix anything. And so I was looking through issues, and what people have been doing is actually just manually reconnecting after logging in. So that's what we're going to do as well. Basically, they export their WebSocket link. And then we're going to call WebSocket link dot subscription dot try connect. And there's a long issue about people struggling with this, so we're going to try this try connect. And uh, what it'll do is just we'll reconnect basically when we log in. So I'm fine making it not lazy anymore because we're just going to reconnect in our login. And before we can do that, we have to actually export this guy. So export WebSocket link. And then up here, I'm just going to import from Apollo. And we 
just go up one and WebSocket link. So we're gonna get the WebSocket link there. And then right after we log in here, so we're gonna set the token and the refresh token. Oops, and we're just gonna call WebSocket link and then we're gonna reconnect. And I'm gonna get rid of the console logs here. I don't think we really need them anymore. So let's see this in action. So this is a normal, hey, works as usual, right? We th That should work. Now if I go to log in, um, notice how we connect with the tokens automatically. I'm gonna re get rid of my tokens. So refresh, this is a totally new user. Um, we connect as null like we did before, but now when I log in, I should reconnect. So we get not authenticated, but notice how we then reconnect here because we try to reconnect right there. And now I can be, hey, what's up? And okay, that did not work at all like I expected. And the reason for that is we got rid of lazy. If we compound these two together with lazy, it works out better. I think what's happening is we connect too soon before the reconnect happens. All right, so clear my tokens. Bob at bob.com. So we haven't connected yet because we said lazy. Um, we go here, we reconnect. Good, we pass in our tokens. Looks like that works. Now let's go back and log in as a different user. And we should reconnect at bob3 at bob.com. And we see the connection params here getting passed in again. And now we can still chat, good. Bob3 is there, perfect. And the right tokens are sent now. Notice how this is the token we sent for Bob. This is the token we sent for Bob3. So it looks like that was the mix. I was thinking we might be able to get away with just reconnecting without lazy, but it looks like the combination of passing lazy um, in our WebSocket link and then reconnecting after we log in. So this is in the on submit of login. Um, right after I set the tokens and right before I push to view team, I reconnect. Cool. And then I'm just gonna get rid of these console logs because I think we're good with that now. But now our uh, authentication for subscriptions is good. All the messaging capability we had before should still work. Um, we're now just protected when people log out or when we're logging in for the first time. Subscriptions should work right away and you don't have to refresh the page. So that's all for this video guys. Thanks for watching.